nice morning. Once more again with Hamlet, scene two, uh, act two, scene one. But before I start discussing the events and the, the events of act two, scene one, I want to shed light on some parts of the some parts of act one, namely line 130 in the in scene five. Hamlet says there is never a villain dwelling in all Denmark. There is no more villain dwelling, dwelling in Denmark than Claudius. Villain means a cursed person, a bad person. But he is an arrant knave, a complete villain. Arrant knave, arrant knave, arrant knave means a complete villain. Shirir, shirir jiddan. This is Hamlet's understanding or conception of Claudius after he met the scene, the, the, after he met the ghost of his father, the ghost of his father who told him about the act of, the act of, the act of assassination committed by Claudius against Hamlet the king. There is needs, there needs no ghost, my lord, come from the grave to tell us this truth. Horatio, the scientific mentality, that represents scientific mentality, says that we don't need a ghost to come from the hereafter, from the underworld, to tell us that there, that there is a villain, the, 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 the man who is controlling the state, Denmark, namely Claudius, is villain. Why I'm saying this? Horatius, the objective person, the objective person in Sadal Mawdu'i, alongside with Hamlet, they agree, alongside with those who are present in the scene, that the ruling person of the state is a, is a villain, is a bad person, is a devil is a devil. Hamlet, why? Right you are in the right. And so without more circumstances at all, I hold it fit that we shake hands and part. He wants to shake hands with Horatio and the two guards, and every one of them needs to go to his business and to take care of his life. For every man has business and desire, such as it is. Okay, Horatio says, these are but wild and whirling words, my lord. Here Horatio alludes that Hamlet's speech is incoherent. Hamlet, Hamlet's speech is incoherent. which is a sign of distraction, a sign of distraction. Not distraction, distraction. This is the first sign that Hamlet has fallen in an ailment, ailment, ailment. Became, he became sick, mentally sick, or let us say, say, disturbed, mentally disturbed. Mentally disturbed. Mentally disturbed. Horatio says, there are, yes, these are but wild and whirling words, my lord. Hamlet says that he is sorry for that. Sorry for that. Now, with 200, with, yes, Act 2, Scene 2, yeah, pages, pages 
خمسة اثنين yes we now shift to act to scene two to discuss parts thereof to discuss some parts thereof احنا مش هنمشي we will not go uh, we will not go in, det uh, in details throughout the whole act, the whole act but we take some parts some significant parts some significant passages and read together and shed light on the occurrences the importance of these scenes here Polony Ophelia Hamlet's love or what people believe that Ophelia is Hamlet's love says to her father Polonius a, calcula a very calculating person a very pedantic person a very bad person indeed my lord I don't know but uh, truly I do fear it she says that she fears Hamlet she fears Hamlet because Hamlet decided to pretend to be mad to be to be mad to be mad Polonius what said he now we know that Polonius follows Hamlet step by step he if a, if a, he surveil he keeps watching Hamlet closely he makes surveillance 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 he makes close surveillance of Hamlet surveillance means Mura close Muraqaba Muraqaba close surveillance he took me by Hamlet he spe she's speaking about Hamlet he took me by the rest and held me hard then goes he to the length of all his arm he was he was standing a length arm from me and with his other hand thus over his brow brow he falls to such perusal of my face perusal means perusal means a close look a close look or a searching look بدأ يتفحصني يتفحص وجهي بعمق شديد as would draw it long stayed he so at last a little shaking of my arm he shook my arm and thrice his head he shook his head three times waving up and down he raised a sigh so piteous and so profound so piteous piteous means pitiful pitiful this is the first time we see people pity Hamlet pity Hamlet and the profound as it did seem to shatter all his bulk this his size seemed to shatter shatter destroy his bulk body bulk here means body it seems to me that Ophelia knows him full well Hamlet is about to collapse psychologically and physically speaking and leads yes yes bulk and the end and end his being and end his life that done he lets me go and with his head over his shoulder turned he seemed to find his way without his eyes he did not look he did not he did not look in the direction of whereabouts he's going to go without his eyes for out doors he went without their helps without his eyes helps 
and to the last bended their light on me. He looked at me for the final, for a final look. Polonius says, this is her account of her meeting with Hamlet. Polonius, come go with me, I'll go seek the king. This is the very ecstasy of love. Ecstasy here means madness. Ecstasy. Ecstasy, mad, ecstasy. Madness. Ecstasy. Polonius and ours unintelligently concludes that Hamlet has become mad because of his love to his, to his daughter Ophelia. But this was mistaken. He was mistaken. Whose violent property forebodes itself? Forebode? Forebode? means destroy, means destroy. Madness that des destroys madness or destroys the man. For boats itself and leads he and leads the world to, to desperate undertakings and leads the one who is mad to assume or to make desperate actions as oft as any passion under heaven that does afflict our nature. Every passion afflicts our nature. I am sorry, what have you given him any hard words of late? Of late means recently. Of late means recently. He asked his daughter recently whether she had spoken unkindly to him, whether she has spoken unkindly to him. She re replied saying that she did not exchange any bad language with Hamlet, but she, she obeyed her father who, who ordered her not to meet Hamlet, not to speak to him, and to abstain from receiving his messages his messages. Oh my good Lord, but as you did command, I did repel the letters and denied his access. Okay, this is a recount, this is a, a recount of, a recount of what Hamlet is feeling. With scene two, with scene two here, Scene two. Act. Act two. Scene two. Scene two. The first, first the tani, the mashhad, the Here, the king enters on the stage, Claudius. Claudius, pages, line, line 260, yes, 260, 260, yes. Nine letters, I'm sorry. Yes. Lines. Lines. Nine, ninety three. Lines ninety three to one one five. These are important lines. This is a very important passage. What says? 
what says, what does Polonius say to the king? The final four, uh, four lines. In brief, in brief, in brief, your noble son is mad. This is Polonius, Polonius's estimate of Hamlet's status. Mad call it, I want to call it madness. For to define it true madness, what is, what is it, what isn't but to be nothing else but mad? We define madness with madness. This is madness. But let that go. Let us leave this. Queen, more matter with this art. I don't want you to tell me more and more without resorting to art. Art. Art here means rhetoric. Polonius uses rhetoric profusely, namely play on words. rhetoric. قل لي ايش مو ايش الموضوع؟ مادم اي سوار اي يوز نو ارت ات اول ذات هي از مات اتس ترو اتس ترو اتس بيتي اند بيتي ات ات از ترو ا فولش فيجر هي ستريسز هي يوزز ذا وورد مادنس اند اتس سينونيمز سيفرال تايمز ان اوردر تو in order to convince the queen who addresses herself to him that her son is mad. Because, but farewell, farewell it, leave it, for I will use no art. I will no, I will no longer use art. I will be direct. That we find, yes, art. Mad, let us grant him then. Let us agree that he is mad. And now remains that we find out the cause of his effect. The cause of his effect. Effect here means madness. He believed, or he believes that he, that he has discovered why Hamlet is mad. But this is an erroneous understanding, a mistaken understanding. And now remains that we find out the cause of this effect. Or rather say the cause of this defect. You see, a play on words. Effect, defect. Effect, then defect. Defect means demerit. Demerit. I. For this Effect, defective comes by cause. You see how this language? Thus it remains, and the remainder, and, and the remainder thus. Perpend, I'll consider. Perpend means consider. Means perpend. Perpend. I have, how now, more, like, more, more storytelling technique, uh, more storytelling. I have a daughter, half while she is mine, who is in her duty and obedi obedience, mark, she marks what I tell her, hath given me this. Now, for, now gather and surmise, gather and surmise, Gather and surmise I conclude I conclude I come to understand I gather and surmise This is part of the la of a letter Hamlet sent to Ophelia to the celestial and my soul idol. 
my love, my soul idol, my love. The most beautified Ophelia, beautified. Someone who is beautiful is different from someone who is beautified. Here there is, there is a craftsmanship here. Okay? Beautified. This is a, a bad word indeed. Yes, beautified Ophelia, that's an ill phrase, a vile phrase. I do agree with him. Beautified is a vile phrase, but you shall hear. These in her excellent white bosom, these put the, these lines or the letter in your bosom. Queen, came this from Hamlet to her? Good madam, good madam, stay a while. I will be faithful. What Hamlet says? Doubt thou the stars are fire? Do you doubt that the stars are part of fire? Doubt that the sun doth move? Do you, do you doubt? Shukki anna shamsa tasir wa shukki anna al nujuma juz'un min al nar. Doubt the truth to be a liar, but never doubt I love you. But don't doubt that I love you. Hamlet loves Ophelia a lot. Loves Ophelia a lot. Okay. Lines. Okay. We proceed. I proceed with line 155. Now the king says to Polonius, but no, not that I know, but I don't believe that your account of Hamlet's madness is a true. El Malik is calculating. Schemas, scheming, uh, clever, doubts everything, points to his head and shoulder. Yes, yes, Polonius, take this from this, if this be otherwise. Remove my head from my body if you conclude that I am telling you lies. She lirasi an iktaf iza kuntala kazab. If circumstances lead me, I will find where the truth is hid. Though it were hid indeed within the center. King, how many we try it further? How we may try it further? Let us explore the matter further. Polonius, at such a time, I will lose my daughter to him. I will lose my daughter to him. Now they are plotting, the king and Polonius. Polonius tells the king that Hamlet loves his daughter, and he wants to convince and convince the Claudius that Hamlet truly loves his daughter. And he says there is a scheme, there is a plan. He tells king, he tells the king that he will lose his daughter. Ophelia once uh, Hamlet enters the court. And he asks the king to hide, he, Polonius, and Hamlet, to hide behind a curtain and see what is going to take place between Hamlet and Ophelia. He wants to Convince the king that his nephew, Hamlet, is mad. I stop now for three or four, four minutes. Then I come back to more discussion of the act.